Today I'm going to work on a pattern that I'm calling Starburst. Not quite sure how that's going to turn out, but it should be pretty exciting. Stick around and we'll get right to it after this intro. Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and today we're working on a project that I came up with last week. And it's actually remarkably similar to the one I just did. So if you didn't see my, you know, original idea, um, I suggest you check that out. That one really turned out pretty cool. This is a similar kind of thing, and it came first. And I guess it really was the inspiration to that other, the original idea video, because it does share some similar properties. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't reuse the image that I had from the other one, so I'm going to have to kind of remake all of this. But that's okay. I, uh,. I sometimes like you know really want to do these shortcuts like make it go faster than what it really is but the reality is when it comes to designing bracelets this is remarkably fast so and it gives you guys a chance in case you never saw the other videos it gives you a chance to see how I'm doing it so basically this whole thing starts out with a rainbow just sort of zigzagging its way on down. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a starburst effect for the whole entire middle area. The last one ended up with like a, a cool um, arrowhead kind of design in the center. This one is going to be like a starburst, just like an explosion of colors doing their thing. I actually, so I have like a, a small book where I've written down a lot of the ideas and um, I hadn't realized when making the other video that this was in the book to be done. This was what, what it would have been the, my next one to make, um, but I just got so excited about the other one, I kind of jumped the gun or whatever. And then when I come back to the book to see what else I could do, I'm like, oh, right, this okay this is this is probably where that uh what brewed that other idea in my head so if you're with the hay i'm having fun today making patterns this should be cool The goal of this, I think, will be that we're going to bring the zigzags down to the center area. All right? We don't need a huge starburst effect, per se. Mind you, if you're designing this, you can do this wherever you want, however you want. That's the whole point of why I teach you guys how to actually make your own patterns is so that way you guys could actually generate things however you want to do it. There, let's see how many more rows we got. We have a few. Again, if you didn't know where it's two dots or two little squares, two, one, two, and then one, two, um, over here it's three because we have an extra row where we're connecting two bracelets together. So that's perfectly this normal. It's the same thing. I should actually color these in.
All right. Thank you for following along with my bracelet designs. Hopefully, this is going to inspire some of you to create your own stuff. Now that you can see how it's done, how you can make something. And something that some of the other pattern generators might not actually do well with because um, we're not making the patterns repeatable. I don't know if they've ever figured out how, that they don't need to do it that way, but in the past I know that was a thing. And um, a lot of my designs don't repeat. It's all center-based kind of patterns. This one of those purples there. Oops. So it's just going to cycle through the rainbow again. And after having done the last project, I'm imagining that when we finally do the chevron area, well, it's going to be like a chevron at first. Well, it's going to be like a candy cane at first. The fact it mirrors turns it into a chevron. And the fact that it mirrors again, it's going to turn it into a starburst. But I imagine when we do that, some of the first colors used will get repeated several times over because that seems to be a thing because they're short before they go to bounce again. But that's okay. Um, in the previous one, it turned out pretty cool. So I suspect it'll turn out pretty neat in this as well. Okay, oh look, yellow will be the the uh, one it ends on, cool. And you can see how I'm following these lines. The two yellows come together right here. Obviously two yellows come back out, right? And then, move this over a bit. We can just follow along bounces comes back now we just follow the zigzag down There's going to be a lot of filling in the underlying strings here in a minute. Because we didn't, with the first strings, like the first red or whatever, it never, whoops, control C. Oh, no, I did go there. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so. Ah, red, orange, yellow. This will be a green. Yeah, see over here, we don't have any of those filled in yet. So that's going to have to happen here soon. Okay, so we got the green, and we got blue. Whoops, get the black line instead of inside of it. And 
Yep, see how the blue gets put in there right again. Kinda knew that would be something in the starting area. Blue is going to happen a bunch. Deal with that in a minute. Let's do this green down. Let's see where it goes to. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's try to do it. go ahead and do this blue. Don't bother me if I don't finish it off here. There. Now let's see what the next color is. We got purple. Again, we just kind of follow it, the path that's laid out in front of us from having done all of the other underlying things. Kind of bounces around a bunch, but that's part of what happens when you're doing a zigzag, right? And as you can see, basically everything that's going to the right stays underneath. Everything going to the left is what's on top. All right, let's go back here and follow out. Where does this red one go? Because after the purple, the red would have been the next one. We just follow it along. And it makes its way out down here. Now my hope is that I can actually produce a bunch of these bracelets in the up and coming days. So I can have the pictures for both my Instagram and my web page. We'll see how that goes. I wonder if I should do these two in the uh, the same colors. The previous one, the original idea, and this one, if they should be the same color. I could do that. Oops. All right. We're getting near the end of this, which is very exciting. Hopefully you can understand how I'm following these lines. Like when it came to this red, right? There's, let's just zoom in here. Because the red already goes this direction, the yellow can only go this direction. And it's following this rules of if this, then that kind of thing that makes it really kind of easy to sort out 
where it has to go. It has to do a certain thing because the other option was already taken. And that's how I'm actually tracing all these colors now. Oh, look at that. It actually meets up with the yellow down at the bottom. That's kind of cool. Okay, so next color would be green. You can see the purple already goes the other direction, so the green comes back. The blue is already done, so the green goes there. That's funny, the greens meet up right there. That was not expected. Okay, after the green was the blue. And the blue meets up with the blue over here as well. That's neat. I wonder if I'll have any more that does that. Oops. All right. Purple, red. And then the orange. And whoops. Didn't mean to zoom in. It was meaning to scroll up to make sure that we didn't miss any spots and we didn't very good all right use the select tool make sure right on the lines we are all the way to the top perfect control c control v using the flip tool flip horizontal then we take the move tool And we're right on the lines. Perfect. Layer, we do anchor layer. Now we get the select tool again. And snap it on that grid line. Control C, Control V. Flip tool, this time we flip vertically. Get the moving tool. And get it to snap on that grid. Arrow key to shift it over. Layer, anchor, and let's see what we got. Look at that. That's cool. We have nice zigzags on the outside, and we have a cool starbursty thing going in the middle. And look at that. It makes a perfect X with the purple line. That's pretty cool. I even like how the colors kind of turned out. And the yellow kind of makes, because of the way it breaks off there, that's kind of neat as well. There we go, guys. Thank you for sticking around this long in the video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoy it. The pattern will be available over on my website, akawall.com. You can help support the channel by sharing, liking, commenting, as well as Patreon. You can join me over at patreon.com forward slash akawol. All right. I really appreciate you guys hanging out this long. And um, yeah, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.